and they get the win. We'll check the inbox, we'll check the text line to hear what you have to say next. Hito looks to get the puck over to Texier. Columbus has it in the defensive end. The Blue Jackets will play it through the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Oh, and that goes wide. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Rangers are getting two minutes for tripping. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Brzezinski's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. New York's got a hold of the puck. Jenner's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. And the rookie, he's hunting down his first goal. Grabbed along the board by Marchenko. From point blank range. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Scores! And the kid has his first in the NHL. Oh, that's got to feel so good. You always want to feel like you're contributing and you want to give a lasting impression, especially when you're new. This is a moment you won't forget. He's got his first ever goal. And that's going to feel good, and it's a milestone moment, James. No question about it. It's his first ever, and there's only one of those. So you can expect that that puck will be somewhere on his wall, in his house, somewhere. How did he stop with that one? Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Stop by the goaltender. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Trocek's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And he elects to play the puck. Texier is carrying it ahead. Here he is on the backhand. Answered the call there. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And puts it anywhere but he wanted it to go. 
Sometimes players get into those scoring areas and they try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Takes the feed at the point. Redirected in front. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Look at this. They've got the circle in full effect now. Tonight with the save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Well, you can feel this coming. Here they go. Yeah, they were coming towards one another, and you knew it was going to happen. And both of the benches are elevated standing up as this one's going on. And ding, ding, it's all over. Yeah, the bell has rung, and he certainly got his dunk. The Blue Jackets keeping their fan base in this game. And any time there's a fight, you can feel the energy in the building, especially when you're the home team. It's electric in here. Columbus holds a noticeable edge in the shot department here, and they lead in the first. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. tonight, James. He's made the saves he's needed to, and his team has been tremendous in front of him, creating a ton of scoring opportunities, and the reason why they've got a great lead. Uh-uh! Nice block! Kreider's got it against the boards! Big play inside the defensive zone. Denies that opportunity. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Oh, the stick falls on the play. Well, and that's a tough one, James, when you're in a prime scoring area and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible. So you go from being there and then being at the bench. The worst. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Penalty coming up as the play is blown down. Well, he was kind of using his stick as a weapon there, James. He was hacking and whacking, and these are the types of calls that need to be made because they can result in an injury. Our broadcast crew catching up on this conversation on the bench right now between the head coach and the young rookie here, Cheryl. They're coming off a great shift where they dictated pace, James, and I think it's really important that you string shifts together if you want to build momentum, and I think this is a reminder to the kid that, hey, you're part of this. Go repeat what that last line just did. Brzezinski's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, wow, another great stop. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Jenner's looking to win this draw, this man advantage here. Columbus will go to work here in the offensive end. The Rangers have it now. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Here he is, shot right in front. And that's blocked in traffic. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Well, he's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. The Blue Jackets fail to capitalize on the power play. Power plays dictate games, and this one did not. And the coach will not be happy with the setup or the opportunity that this unit gave him. Moves it quickly over to Brodzinski. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Sends it over to Jenner. Columbus has possession of the puck. Pushes it across to Wierenski. Tried 
to make a move and the puck hops away. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Gets the puck over to Jenner. Shot! Standing tall with the save! Taken along the wall by Lindgren. New York's got it against the boards. Shot! And kept that one out of the net. Jenner's got the puck in his own zone. Kako's got it along the wing. Moves it to Trocek. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Columbus takes hold of the puck. The Blue Jackets cross the line and gain the zone. Moves the puck across to Kreider. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Merzlikens. There's the physical side. New York's got the puck here in the open ice. Now a quick pass to Kreider. Poked away in the neutral zone by Goudreau. Here's a short pass to Sabinashev. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Johnson's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot! Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. Severson's got it in the defensive end. High speed at center moves up ahead now. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Oh, nice use of the boards with the paint pass. Quick pass to Severson. Sturkin's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Blue Jackets continue to lead big here in this third period. Moves it over to Trocek. And they continue to apply pressure here. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. Oh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. And the PK unit gets their man out of the box. Well, the power play unit looks stifled out there, and they have to make adjustments and read off what the PK unit is doing, and there was none of that. Moves it around along the half wall. Shot! Score! And look at the reaction on the ice. His first of the season, and his teammates look just as puffed. New York's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. The two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. The Blue Jackets played along the boards. Answers it with an even better save. The Rangers gain possession. Poked away by Provorov. Columbus has the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. New York's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Kako. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Handles the pass. Stones him with the blocker. Columbus has it near the wall. Picked up along the boards by Schneider. New York's got it across the line. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Denied by the puck stopper. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Detroit's coming up next on the schedule and these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that one. Takes the feed. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Columbus 
has turned this one into a blowout with the amount of scoring chances they have capitalized on. Well, sure, I'm not surprised this is about to go down here. Yeah, we've watched the first two periods, and now late in the game, these tempers have flared, and this is why they're going head-to-head. these but hopefully nobody's hurt here seriously yeah that's tough to watch especially taking that last punch it was decisive and he went down hard the blue jackets clearly win that fight and now they have to build on the momentum that it's created you can play physical you can play fast but what you do after a fight is really important <laughs> sink tonight, but they certainly tried to put everything else behind the goaltender. Yeah, they threw so many pucks on net. They had a simple but effective game, so we didn't see a... I appreciate the call, Darcy. And no, I, I think it's a good point you make, and I think it was a challenge unfulfilled because you look at how the game was playing out. After we saw that moment on the bench between the rookie and the coach, you know, I don't know if the kid ever got a chance. Everybody just needs to stand down, right? Can we all just stand down now for all the panic and worry that, oh, 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 when's that first goal coming? It's there, right? Okay, do it with me, everybody. All right, because I am like a yoga master. Actually, not really, but I at least can collectively go. <sighs> all right, kids score. All right, he's on the score sheet in the National Hockey League. And there's going to be a lot more where that came from, okay? So let's just all chill. All right, go ahead. Let me hear from you. Let's go to the phones here now. And you know, I was really impressed by the kid out there as he gets on the score sheet, scoring a goal. And this is one of those things that I think we've got something special in this kid. I know it's a small sample size that we've seen so far, but I think there's a lot of reasons to be encouraged from what we've seen from the freshman and what we might be just seeing the tip of the iceberg going forward because He's been brilliant, and he certainly was in the win tonight. All right, still to come here on the show, we'll dive into the rest of the story. All right, at this time, let's get you caught up on all the action on the ice tonight. The Rangers faced off against the Blue Jackets. Columbus plays the role of destroyer in the win. And did you see the kid shine so brightly when he finds the back of the net? Here's how it sounded. Here's a chance, right in front, scores! And the rookie comes up clutch again. Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Lightning played a game against the Sen... After the offside call. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. Cops quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Columbus gains a hold of it. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. Columbus plays it against the boards. Puck picked up by Jenner. The Blue Jackets will take it behind the net. Takes the feed from his netminder. Nice zone entry from the middle. 
Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Passes over to Johnson. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Nice bank pass off the boards. Columbus takes possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Musa quickly over to Jenner. And he takes the feed. Wierenski's got the puck. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Grabs the puck in the corner. Denies him again. Moves behind the net. Just a smothering attack here in the offensive end. And listen to this place light up. Broken up by Wierenski. Into the offensive zone. Runs him hard into the wall. Takes the pass. Detroit's looking to break out. The Blue Jackets have it behind the cage. The Red Wings have the puck now. The Blue Jackets gain possession in their own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here's a chance in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Husso. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Detroit's fortunate that the game is still tied here. James, they have a minority of shots on net. They're going to have to get it some attack mentality, a sense of urgency, and drive the net. Wait for the dirty dangle to go sideways. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Rasmussen's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Pass back to the point. That's blocked. It's a straight-up race for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Sider. Feeds it over to Kopp. The Red Wings looking against the half wall. Shot. Turned aside with the club by Merzlikens. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Along the half wall with the puck. A nasty whack, and the officials all over that one. Let's see the call here. The Blue Jackets don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Kubalik's across the line now, and on the attack in the offensive end. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And there's the save! Hammers one at the net. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Moves it to Sedina. Picked up along the wall by Fabry. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. The Blue Jackets grab possession to the puck. Tries to the crease. Left save by the goalie. Sends a pass over. Slides the puck across to Sider. Detroit's moving it into the offensive end. They put the puck into the offensive end. Takes the bank pass feed. Here's a short pass to Perron. Looks to make a play over to Larkin. Handles the puck. From the open ice, they gain the line. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Toss 
passes it on to Jenner. And now it's grabbed by Provorov. Quick pass to Texier. Broken up in the neutral zone by Perron. Feeds the puck over to Larkin. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Broken up at center by Perron. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Columbus has it against the half wall. And he takes the pass. And there's a great save by Husso. Larkin's got it across the line. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Columbus plays the puck along the board. Great stop by Husso. And it's a quick pass to Kubalik. Quick shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with a glove save. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Husso. And that goes off a player in front. Moves into the slot. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Jenner's recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Detroit's got it in the own zone. The Red Wings carry it along the wall. Shot! Oh, fantastic save by Bruce Leakins. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Texier has gained the line and on the attack. Taken by Larkin. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Great poke check on the reach. Inside the offensive, and now down the left. A chance in front, and that's intercepted. Gains the zone from the right. Here's a chance, and that ricochets off a twig in front. Jenner's crossed the line and gained the zone. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. Center into the middle, and that's off target. Husso's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident, controlled in the crease. The Blue Jackets have continued to put lots of pucks on net, and they lead it here in the third. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. And it is all over with this one. Well, a complete team effort right from the goal to the front and they continue to find ways to win. Listen James, when you're winning games it's easy to have buy-in, right? James Sabalski taking your calls till the top of the clock and another win here early in the season for the squad. And, hey, nice performance by the kid as well as he picks up a goal. Uh, what a bright start to the season. You know, a lot of expectations coming into camp and then more coming out of camp showing well. And you know what? He has been one of the best players for this team so far early in this season as they've continued to try to find their way. But the rookie kind of leading by example from what we've seen thus far. Let's get over to Jake, who's on line four. Jake, welcome back to the show. Let's take a look around the league and some of the final scores out there tonight. The Wings were hoping to fly high on the road against the Blue Jackets. 
Columbus posts the win in a tightly contested affair. And the kid, one of the catalysts in driving home the offense in this one, scoring, and here's how it sounded. Moving it around in the offensive end. Crowd on its feet here tonight. Scores! The rookie puts it home in the back of the net. What a clutch goal by the kid. There were other games on the ice as well across the National Hockey League. Let's bring you up to date on some of the finals.